Good morning. There's something we as a staff need to do uh, ASAP as we are beginning our fast forward implementation. We had a quick training after school and these are some of the items that need to be taken care of. If you have any problems with those, let me know. We will go to our browser or if you have it bookmarked somewhere, please do that and find our website at helencadero.aps.edu. Go to resources, resources for teachers, down to fast forward. And uh, once you're there, uh, in the event you are not logged in, you will need your email and password, which was sent to you a while back to your APS email. If you cannot locate that somewhere, please let me know. Log in. Go to Manage, and here we have our students. You will find yourself in here, and I did this earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and um, remove this group because uh, I would like to use it again for demonstration purposes. So when adding your new group, you will find your name and Ms. Soto was nice enough to let me use hers and then go up here to new group and add that group so I'll put Soto fast forward add new group there it is then I will go back to where I was which was on Ms. Soto's class and select them all add them to the new group we just created Put them all in there and boom there's our confirmation then I will click on Miss Soto fast forward group and the next step that's really important is to go in here and most of you will see this green so this is our auto setting A for auto take them off of there which I had done previously but you will need to do make sure these are gray and not green all of these A's like I said most of you will see them as green when you form your groups so they must be taken off of auto assign so there I did it a couple of times just to to show you once this is all gray we can go into select all and assign them now as you can see many of them are in reading readiness some of them are in language V2 but they all need to have that language V2 and let's go to assign there they are as you can see every student now has language V2 in their assignments and that's basically what you need to do as far as assigning them now the other thing you do need to do is the exercise demos whole group in your classroom so you click on exercise demos you go to language v2 and you will see all these different categories always take the earliest level click on that and of course you've got these um, cute little pictures Improving grammar and listening skills is hard work. Listening is really important. Will make you smarter. Get charged. So you will do this with your students and laugh with them. There's always this little Saturn what thing. What is the cat chasing? What is the cat chasing? Okay, so here we see a cat chasing a mouse. We don't see a cat here chasing. We see them running. So you discuss these out loud with your children. Help them think out loud to make the correct choices. Okay, that is just one of them. Uh, the, the one that's extremely important is the sound one. And uh, if you go to the sound one, you're going to see. Here is Wayland Match, early levels. Listening carefully to instructions will improve your memory and attention. Touch the green square. Okay. Etc. Etc. There is one that we did in the 
uh, training that had some very, very close sounds. It is practice over time that makes super brains. So as you can tell, this one has more of a B sound, and this one has a D sound. So you'll listen to the sound first, and you explain this to the kids. Otherwise, they're not going to have a clue what to do. So it's very important that you go over this whole group with them. Now, I, I believe that this said B when I clicked on it. So I'm going to go back to the B sound. Yay! Now let's listen again. Ba, ba, ya. That's definitely done. I heard ba. Yay! And so you guys go over and over and over these things. So it's so important for you to introduce these demos to your students when uh, before putting them on fast forward at least. You can do it during your breakfast time maybe or find a, a, a window of opportunity to present these to your students. So basically that is it. If you have any questions please email me at lopez underscore cr at aps.edu. As far as moving students over I can help you with that if you cannot. Uh, Stephanie Hall has also offered to help with that. Oh, I forgot to mention one more thing. I am doing the demo videos in the lab with your students, starting with first and second next week. And uh, Kinder will follow in a couple weeks because I need to train them on ST Math. So eventually, all students will be doing the demos here in the lab for the next couple weeks and then be trained to log in themselves on to fast forward and we do expect the kindergarten assistants to be with their students when we're doing this because the login process can be a bit challenging and hopefully they will be bringing their login cards to computer lab once again thank you have a great day